Okay, so today lads, we're gonna talk about wheels. I've been so fortunate to be sponsored by Lease Wheels this season, which means that I am able to switch from gravel to road in a matter of minutes. And I mean, going with this setup, the Specialized Crux, compared with the Lease Wheels, the wheels are ultimately the thing that enables me to do this thing. And it's the dream. So today we're gonna to talk about my first experiences with the wheels. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, I just wanna say that I reached out to Lee's Wheels to sponsor me this season because I thought that it's just a great value option for a wheel set. And uh, being a student with two very expensive hobbies, video and cycling, I, uh, I look a lot at the value proposition of anything that I buy. And uh, I just thought that it would be a great matchup for me to match up with someone or with a company that also values, uh, values making a good deal, I think. I've got the bike set up right now with the CH40, which is, which is my gravel wheel set of choice. It's 40 millimeters deep, hookless, and uh, yeah, we'll talk dimensions later in this video. Right now, I'm sorry if it's a bit dirty, but uh, I was out riding yesterday and it got pretty muddy for some reason. Um, and also I thought that it could showcase the versatility of this, like having two wheel sets. Because yesterday I was out riding this muddy gravel and tonight we're doing a road drag race. And I was able to switch between the wheel sets in just a matter of minutes. Luckily for me, I was able to transport my, my road wheel set right here in this nice bag that I've just got from Lee's which is awesome, it's like a backpack, so you can wear it on your back. So if you're really serious about racing, you could actually ride out to the race with your wheel set in a bag and then switch them over. I mean, I, I think that'd be a great flex to do on race day. But anyway, let's unpack them. Got them right here, that's the back wheel. I've got the front wheel right here. Okay, so for my road setup, I went for the CC50, which is basically just a classic 50 millimeters deep road setup uh, with hooked rims. Um, and I'm actually running tubes on my road setup because I don't want to mess with the like having to redo the sealant and all those things. Like there is just it's just easier for me to run uh, run tubes, but I've of course got the latex tubes in. Uh, two years ago, I was actually riding butyl tubes on my Kenyan A Road and decided to try out the latex ones. And honestly, it transformed the ride as nearly as much as when I switched to a, uh, a high performance tire. It really made the ride so much more soft. Um, and I th like to me, it feels faster. It feels like I'm just rolling over everything instead of bumping and bouncing around so uh, yeah right now I've got my road set up uh, with the GP5000 30, 30 millimeters wide I might even go wider than this but uh, for now I think it's awesome definitely go for a 30 or a 28 I mean there's no reason with all the data out there now to go for a 20 millimeters deep like 20 millimeters wide tire waste of money for gravel ch40 for road cc50 and so far it's been amazing but let's talk a bit more into detail uh, about the dimensions of this wheel set let's go set design for this one is like on point never done this much for set design on a youtube video the wind is fucking me up though looks stupid so because I'm a total noob and I cannot remember the numbers I've got the website open on my phone right here 
Let's talk gravel setup first. CH40. It's called the CH40 All Road Basic actually. But I mean, full carbon fiber, deep section wheel for gravel. I wouldn't call that basic at all, but let's just leave it there. Uh, it's currently retailing at 899 euros. I mean, it's under a thousand euros. Come on now. It's such a great, um, such a great value. They weigh in at only 1,570 grams, which is pretty light for such a wide wheel set. They are, as mentioned, 40 millimeters deep, got a rim width of 33 millimeters, an inner rim width of 25 millimeters, which is quite wide, which is really good, as the wider the rim width is, the wider the tire kind of seats on there. And I like wide tires. I've currently got the specialized 42 millimeters on there and they measure up around 44 millimeters. They are, however, as I mentioned, hookless, which means that you'd have to check with the, the tire manufacturer that they are certified to go on a, um, on a hookless rim. I believe that are some of the Continental tires, maybe the Terra Speeds, that are not compatible with hookless rims, just so that you are aware of that. Um, you can run from a 30 to a 65 millimeter tire on these wheels, so you can go absolutely ballistic, massive on there. Um, and bearings, you can choose a standard, a Croto ceramic, or a ceramic speed, which is dreamy. Um, I've just got the normal, like the standard ones in, uh, because I was worried that the ceramic speed might make the durability of the hubs a bit worse. I have no uh, no expertise on saying this, it's just my thought. And for gravel and also just for road, I just want things that are durable because I intend on using my stuff to the full. The wheels come set up with tubeless tape, which means that you don't have to do anything before you, you mount them basically. And I also got some tubeless valves with them. I'm not sure if uh, that's standard procedure, but you can buy them through lease, which is nice. Do like a one-stop shop. I'm sorry if the wind is boring, bothering the microphone. It's, it's a bit windy today. Can you believe that the last video I did, like the, the Crocs review, it was like sunny. And now I'm sitting here in a puffer jacket, trying to keep my ass warm. Well, this is sick. I forgot to mention this, but one of the uh, big upsides of having a hookless rim actually is that they are a bit more durable. Um, so for gravel, it's just great because sometimes when you're running low pressures, you are going to hit the rim. Um, that's just part of the game, I guess. Now let's have a look on the numbers and dimensions of my road setup. It's called the CC50 Basic. Again, it's a 50 millimeters deep carbon wheel. Nothing basic about that, but in Lee's lineup, it's a basic wheel, apparently. <laughs> uh, again, it re retails for 899 euros. Absolute bargain. Go get yourself a pair. Use my link down below. The bearings, you can also get standard Croto Ceramic and Ceramic Speed. A rim width of 28 millimeters and an inner rim width of 21 millimeters, so they are a bit more narrow. Again, tire width, you can actually go from a 25 to all, all the way up to a 50 millimeters. So if you wanted to, you could also go graveling on this tire. They recommend, like for maximum aerodynamics with this wheel set, you go with a 28 millimeter tire. But they also say that the best aero comfort setup is a 30 millimeter tire, which is exactly what I need. Like I need aero comfort. I need to go long and I need to go fast. Um, so that's perfect for me. Although I do think that you could still run a 32 or even a 35 and still get pretty good aerodynamics out of it. These wheels weigh in at 1530 grams all right so that's the numbers and just really quickly one of the biggest advantages of going for these two wheel shops is that the 
the hubs are identical, which means that when I switch the wheel sets around, I don't have to adjust my gears and uh, the disc brakes do not rub whatsoever because it's the same length of hubs and the same size. So it feels like a dream. Let's go. So as I have said a couple of times now, these wheels, like these wheels make incredible value wheel setups. And why does this matter so much? I think it matters so much, especially when you're going for a do-it-all bike, because like these two wheel sets is almost the same price as the DT Swiss 1400. Like they're top of the line, or I actually think that that's the only gravel wheel set they produce, but it's almost the same price that you're getting two wheel sets for. So let's just talk a little bit about ride feel. I've ridden around maybe 3000 in total on these two wheel sets not uh, on each but in total um, and i think that it ride great it truly is so sick to have carbon set up on both road and gravel i really think that it makes a difference in the ride feel it kind of stiffens off the ride on gravel a bit more which just means that the tires are the only fluctuating point and that kind of feels like that you've got just a smudge more uh, how do you say like control on the gravel because there's not that much wobbly especially when you stumble on the pedals it's quite nice to have a stiff wheel set and yeah for me the biggest thing is just that I now have the ability to go fucking race on these tires on this wheel set sorry like when I put these on, it truly transforms the ride of this bike. It feels almost identical to an endurance road bike. And that's amazing, I think. Like last week, I went uh, crit racing with Kasper Pedersen, who's going to ride, who's probably going to ride the Tour de France this year. And the wheels held up. It's bloody amazing. So far, I have nothing bad to say about the ride feel and as I've said the durability of the bearings is uh, a quite big thing for me as I've in the past had horrendous bearings like I don't know I've probably washed the bike three times and then the bearings were shut. These wheels I've had them for three four months I think and so far the bearings are nice so uh yeah i really i really don't have anything bad to say about this this is just great value gets the job done and so far i'm super satisfied with it um lease also makes disc brakes so if you want to save a bit of money on the on the brakes as well like the the rotors go buy them from lease as well and as a bonus oops there we go Ooh. as a bonus they have actually also got aero sucks i mean <laughs> come on now they have got it all if you haven't checked out lease yet go through the link down below check them out get yourself a nice wheel set for the summer and uh i will see you on the road let me know if you've got Sorry, I just packed this down. Let me know if you've got any questions about the wheel sets or anything else, and I'll try and answer them best as possible. Thank you so much for watching another video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.